everybody, welcome back. Welcome back once again. So let's play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time we left off, we managed to finally jet away from uh, Taris and uh, after killing Davik and that Kalo, Kalo Nord chap, we uh, landed here on Dantooine, which is where we find ourselves right now. Um, do, 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 do. We got a couple of items from Davik in his death. We got a Arcanian energy shield, which is an energy shield, but a little bit better. It gives us def uh, deflection not only to energy, but to sonic, cold, heat, and electrical for up to 40 points, rather than the box standard 20 points that a normal energy shield gives you. So I've put that on to uh, Valdron's uh, equipment list. We also got a couple of other things. We got some kind of goggles. Um, where is it? As I move down, Davik's war suit, which protects against uh, damage and uh, cold and fire. Not really too interested in that. And Davik's visor, which basically gives uh, improved power blast to the wearer. So that should go to somebody with a uh, with a blast. A Pistol or a blaster rifle. No use to Valdron. And also a quick mission brief uh, about our new situation. We managed to gain possession of the Ebon Hawk, which was the uh, the space vessel that Davik was in, in possession of before we killed him and took it for our own devices. But at the moment, we are grounded. The Jedi Council will not allow us to leave Dantooine until we've at least spoken with them. The rest of my party remains on board, uh, but should I need their services, they will await me there. In the holds of the ship, there is a workshop of tools that I could use to uh, upgrade existing weapons and armor if I get the necessary enhancements. And also, there is a swoop bike on board uh, that I may be able to use to make some money, possibly in swoop bike racing. So that sounds like an alternative way to make some spare cash. So we'll keep that in mind for future use. But for now, Bastila told us that we are to meet with the Jedi Council. She's running off in the distance. Karf is upset at being left behind. So without further ado, we shall go and follow Bastila and speak with the Council. Although I'm tempted to run around and explore her first. Keep the council waiting. Do I dare do such a thing? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> I'm Valrum Bane. I do as I damn please. And I have to say, I'm very excited uh, to be exploring a new planet. The planet looks a little bit more prosperous than uh, Taris did. We've got birds flying about, a bit of greenery. All a nice change of pace from Taris. And myself and Valderan is very excited to be able to finally uh, be able to explore in full once we've spoken with the Jedi Council. Must ask us a question. Well, go on. Okay. The name is Sasha. <laughs> I think Valdron is beginning to wonder. Maybe he could spin a tail. Maybe tell a couple of porkies for a monetary reward. So yes, is there a reward for such news? Looks like there's not a reward to be heard of. Oh dear. No credits to offer. Well, unfortunately, I have no I Well, for, for one, I don't know where Sasha is. And for two, I have no uh, intent of playing Scylla Black and reuniting you with your family. So, no. I have no idea who you're talking about. Yes, you shall have to continue your search. Hmm. But apparently we can ask more information. But, uh, no. 
Time is of the essence, I'm afraid. The Jedi Council await. Got to go, sorry. Takum Jus Dach Miki. Yes, thank you for your assistance. Very nice, thank you, yes. Sorry I could not be of more help. Or rather, you could not be of more help to me. Yeah, I don't know if we can talk to these people after we've spoken to the council, but I think uh, we should really get to, t get, get to talking. Don't want to keep them waiting. Not if they're going to grant me Jedi status. In fact, it's actually quite a ways away. I thought it was d down the co down the road, but it seems to be down the road, through a courtyard, left, down by the butchers, swing a left. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Excuse me. I believe you are bloody mistaken here, dear. I'm not a Padawan, whatever the hell one of them is. I'm Valdrum Bane, and I came here with Bastila. Bastila? I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Excuse me, lovey. Do you see me laughing and giggling here like some child? I'm telling you the damn truth! Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. Indeed I wish you, you a do. pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Yeah. Got a lot of learning to do, lovey. Accosting me when I merely walk to my destination. Who knows if for your own good, poke your nose in my affairs, I have to say. Okay, well that seems to lead to somewhere where I don't need to be going, so down here appears to be the right way. Ah, this looks like a council of some sort. A gathering of folks. Oh, and there's Carthy, stood outside. Probably the doors are going to slam shut in your face. What are you going to do? Prop a glass up to the door and try to listen in? <laughs> Just kidding, Kathy. You know I'm going to like you, don't you? I just can't help barking you ever so often. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yes, very good. Ah, it's nice to meet you all. <laughs> you draw me into your little trap. Okay, that's not quite the right, right atmosphere, is it? Uh, well, what do you want? Why am I here? Let's get to the uh, good stuff, shall we? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Oh. Oh. Strong in the Force. How exactly do you know this? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? <laughs> Look, all I can say is I'm willing to try my best. If you offer me this opportunity, you can be assured I will put my entire effort into it. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order, to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. 
with Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Deliberations. Deliberate away, Council. Did, oh, are we having a nasty dream again? The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? Stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Oh dear. So maybe she had the same dream as me. Can't make head and a tail of it. Did she say anything? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you alright? Oh yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Let's go. As you said, let's not keep the council waiting. You got it. Oh, I can I finally add him to the party, can I? What about Kendros? I can't. Oh, both of them. Right, well. Come, let's go for a wander, shall we? Might as well let you out of the ship for a couple of minutes. A bit of breath of fresh air should do you good. Well, apparently it's time to get to know Kendris a bit better. Well, why not? I'm sure the council could wait after they kept me waiting a whole night to make the decision. Not that I'm petty like that. <laughs> but I actually am. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, how very nice. I was wondering if you had any interesting stories to tell us. You seem like a man of the uh, of great adventure. Surely you must have got up to a few things or two on your travels? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure. I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Sounds like a fun way to live, if you ask me. So I take it that is why you are working as a mercenary? Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were aren't a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. <clears throat> okay, well... suppose we got a little bit out of him. Not a great deal, but it's better than nothing. Great wars and battles his people had fought before, and how he's been reduced, or had been reduced, to serving Davik on a backwater world. Hmm. 
Maybe we should speak to the name later. Okay, what's this? Carthy's ready to up, 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 level up. Le we can wait about that. What? What? Nothing. What? Leave me be. I love the way these things walk. These droids. <laughs> Get cross between a zombie and God knows what else. All right. So we've spoken to this guy, but he had a few. I heard that the Sith have destroyed Taurus. This bodes ill for us. Oh, really? Yeah, they had a few questions that he could make. Oh, we had a few questions that we could have asked this chap, so I think I might take the time out now to uh, ask them. Yikukumo, no bab. Yes, I've already spoken to you, but you seem to have forgotten. <laughs> Bit of amnesia. Go on. Yes, I already told you, I have no idea who you're talking about. Assistant, aren't you? So, we'll start with the fact that is there anything of interest here? Okay, so apparently it's full of a variety of natural habitats. Well... Uh, maybe I will take an exploration of those habitats in good time. Uh, do you have a lot of problems with Mandalorians on this planet? Okay, well, I've asked all I want to ask now. Bye. Okay, nothing really of interest. There's another chap here, Deezra. See what he wants. Looks a bit troubled. Runda di hodonga kun hunka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung ka chi kun ida hodonga. Yi king kuno bamule ra chi kun. Ah, my business is my own, I'm afraid. Not gonna divulge my reasons for being here to some random chap. Runda di hodonga kun hunka bi. Yes, and good day to you, flaming nosy Parker. 